But Ainsley, when you look at the dials, I mean, we all had our analysis yesterday about the debate, but when you look at the dials for independent voters, when they solve the immigration issue discussed, yeah. it shoots up not only with Republicans, but independents as well. Mm -hmm. So we want to cherry pick different moments, but when it came down to the issues, it looked like it had an impact and on the what's, voters. What's interesting about this election that I don't ever remember seeing in my lifetime, we have two candidates who have been in the White House. Yes. Kamala both. for the last four years as vice president, Donald Trump four years before that as president. So we know where they both stand. And that's why that first question in the debate was so important. Right. Are you better off? Were you better right. off under him or under her? And you, I've heard people say this is an issues election. That's you right. might not like the personality of her or her flip-flopping. You might not like his personality. But how do they vote? What is their right. record? Are you better off? And so, to that point, there's an item in the uh, that they just posted on the New York Times uh, website that talked a little bit about last uh, the debate a uh, couple of nights ago. And so what the Harris camp is uh, is encouraged by is the fact that they she was able to make the debate all about Donald Trump. And uh, that was something that Joe Biden could not do uh, during his year of running for speak. president. He could not do it, but she did it in a, in a more uh, effective way, essentially. The reason it's important is that debate came two days ago. Yesterday, Alabama sent out the first absentee ballots. It was going to be North Carolina, but RFK challenged it. They got to reprint everything. So Alabama sent out the absentee ballots. People in Alabama so, now will be able to start voting. So here's where the undecided voters are saying, and this is very interesting. It's separate it's from the pundits and the experts. Watch. I think it's important to remember that we are voting for the leader of our country and not who we like the most or who we want in our wedding party, but who is actually going to make our country better. And we're in an incredibly unique situation where we've had both of the candidates in office before and we've gotten to see what they would do. And when facts come to facts, my life was better when Trump was in office. The economy was higher, inflation was lower. Things were better overall, and now with um, Kamala's administration, things haven't been so fantastic. And she's saying she can fix the problems that her administration has caused, but I just don't know if I can afford to take that risk. You go. That right. was the danger. You wanted to talk about Donald Trump the entire debate, but you forgot about the issues that matter to yeah. the American public. People aren't trying to elect a priest right now. They want someone that's going to improve the grocery still don't know prices. Exactly. But what mm -hmm. if the other candidate is saying everything you think they want him to say? But you just got So she's saying, "I'm going to be tough on the border." Really? But you haven't. I did something when I was a before I was senator that I did it, and then you get to talk Donald Trump talking about something separate from what it's doing to these cities and states. Yeah, do you just expect all the American public to have amnesia about the last three and a half years? They do remember, and they're still experiencing the pain. Politico's got an item up right now that talks about the dangers of underestimating Donald Trump. They write in part. But the most important political lesson of the Trump era applies here. When all the corners of elite thinking are in agreement, whether it's on social media, Wall Street, the Beltway, print newsrooms, or in cable green rooms, it's best to be very <laughs> skeptical. I love that. Yeah, and going forward, uh, this item I uh, refer to in the New York Times, because they get people close to the Kamala Harris uh, campaign. Apparently, she's going to be going to North Carolina today, uh, Pennsylvania tomorrow. She's actually going to sit for interviews with local media, and uh, she's going to do an interview, I believe, next week with the National Association of Black Journalists. So let's see if they are able to get some of the questions answered that the ABC James, people could James not. James Clyburn, y'all saw what he well, said yesterday. He doesn't want to do it. James Clyburn yeah. said, I hope she doesn't do one-on-one -on -one interviews because something she says could go in a negative way. Yeah. He yeah. wants to do town halls. Uh, something unscripted could go wrong. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.